27.2% poverty rate among African-American individuals. Larry Elder, black conservative commentator, cited that number. You guys might think that's a good thing, but one third Kaylee, of this community you hear us say that? living that's in not poverty fair. is horrific. Kaylee, and that's not fair. Democrats owe that? it Kaylee, to their that's not constituents fair. To, to say how they will be different than Barack Obama, how they will get African-Americans out of this vicious cycle where you're in a failing school and then one-third of America, African-Americans are in poverty. That is horrendous. Kaylee. It's time to live up to the promises that have been made to this community. It's unfair. Everyone deserves a shot at the American dream. And, and I have to correct something you said. Donald Trump was positive. He said African-Americans have fought in every single war. They've raised the national conscience. Maybe you guys didn't hear that because you don't want to hear good things from Donald Trump. He was very good today, and he was on the cutting edge of civil rights when at Mar-a-Lago, he was the first person That's to not in black Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, you got it. You got it. Wait a minute. This is what everyone does. Civil rights in Mar-a-Lago. Don't go to jail. Time out. Time out. Let me finish what I was saying. Kaylee, but I need you to retract what you said. I know you don't want me to get this out there. Mara Lago, he was the let first him, person. He was the first person to allow blacks and Jewish individuals into his into his club. In fact, he brought a lawsuit against other clubs, part of which alleged that they weren't allowing these. So why after he, he got sued for why Bill Clinton? Why didn't he rent the African Americans? Why didn't he rent the African Americans? Why didn't he rent the African Americans? There were a lot of federal lawsuits brought then, and that that there was no verdict in that case. No verdict. He settled twice. No verdict in that case. Okay, time out. Admitting no guilt. Admitting there are two things. Uh, don't you like it when politics was really just simple in that manner? And shouts out to that fine ass Angela Ross. She can join the Life Game Filthy McNasty Game anytime she wants to. But this video is about the difficulty of them getting rid of net neutrality, the politicians in particular. And this is a fight that stems on both sides of the aisle. It's not just Democrats mad about it, it's Republicans mad about it. The people that have control are the Republicans that currently run Washington, D.C. And you know what? They have bent the knee in terms of letting go of net neutrality for corporate monopolies. And we're going to talk about how that affects Cody and what you can do going forward in the future. And if you're just now finding this channel for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe, click that notification bell so that you are down every time I drop a new video. Welcome back, returning life gainers. Let's go ahead and talk about net neutrality and how it will affect your streaming devices. What's good, life gainers? The end of net neutrality as we know it is here. This cat, Aji Pai, who was a former lawyer for Verizon, is now the head of the FCC and the cat is in the bag. They're supposed to go to a vote on the 14th of this month here in December 2017 to pretty much end net neutrality. And if you don't know what net neutrality ending is, basically in a layman's terms, when you pay one fee for the internet, that covers your internet services for you to go to any website you want. Not too long ago, we had issues with people throttling websites. That's part of it. That was, that was supposed to be illegal. So nowadays when this law passes, it is gonna allow your internet service providers to charge extra fees for certain websites, throttle certain websites. In essence, if your ISP provider doesn't like the website or whatever the commerce site is, they can throttle it or they can charge you through the nose to use it, hindering your first amendments of speech, and everything else like that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is just downright corruption. Both sides of the aisle, from Republicans to Democrats and people alike, have said they hate this shit coming down the pipe. But you know what? The big money corporations, those monopolies that you know I hate, one of the reasons why I started YouTube, have pretty much thrown their weight up on the wall and said, we're gonna have this shit whether y'all like it or not, y'all gonna have to pay the pot piper. And we've seen it coming for a while. We've seen it coming when Barack Obama was president. And the thing is, all we can do is hope that it gets tied up in litigation in the courts, basically saying that you are blocking amendments, free speech type issues, and hope that that works. That's about all we can do. And the other thing that we're gonna have to wait and see is whenever corruption, governments, monopolies do things to the people, there are always innovators, risk takers, entrepreneurs that come out with something to help get around it. I mean, Cody is a prime example of that. 
Let's hope that those entrepreneurs are fast at work figuring out ways we can get around net neutrality. The other thing is I've heard some people say you could use a VPN to get around this. I do not believe that um, a VPN basically masquerades your own ISP address. It ain't gonna have nothing to do with that. The people that have websites that are very popular such as YouTube, Facebook, and all those, when you wanna get directly to those sites, if this goes through and they can do what they want to do, you're just going to have to pay more to get to those. Just think of people putting toll roads up on certain websites. When you're used to traveling the highways free as you want to, there's going to be toll roads at certain websites and an ISP ain't going to block that. I mean, a, a VPN ain't going to block that. But if you're someone who's using Cody and those things like that right now, you want to be a VPN, try the one in my link for IP Vanish. Use it while you can. Use it right now while it's, the getting is good. It will certainly help speed up some of the stuff you're doing with your streaming devices and your streaming technology right now as we speak. It provides you a layer of protection from those nosy ISP companies so they don't know what you're doing in your home addresses right now. And that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about the coming, the dropping of net neutrality. It's coming. They're going to pass that law. It's a bunch of BS. Let me know how you think the future is going to turn out. And until the next sexy as hell video, I'll see you. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Gains.